Alright, it's been a while since I created a video here. I think the last time I created a series of videos was for Little Wolf and a little book project that I did early last year. Now those two books are out now. Little Wolf was published in December. And shortly after the holidays, I started writing a new story for a new picture book that I'm making. And I'm right now I'm in the middle of creating color studies for it. And as I was planning the comic book creation process that I'll be taking for this new book, I realized that I have to break a few rules that I've set on myself. Um, because I noticed whenever I create a comic book, my process, my creation process for each differs slightly from the previous version. Now, I've done three short story comic books in the past that I've self-published and they were all using wet media. And the process that I took to create those three books were very similar, especially the first two, Mumbo's Jumbo and Not in Sleep. But when I got to creating Dragon Song, this is where I got experimental because I actually wasn't planning on printing that book. It, it was just a... It was. It started off just a Sunday sketch and an exercise on calligraphy. <laughs> but one of my friends uh, messaged me saying, I, I want to see more. So she, she wanted me to, to follow the story and keep weaving it. So each, each Sunday, I kept adding a thread to continue the story, which I actually didn't plan to to finish. <laughs> and so, just like a, a dare, I, I just kept creating new spreads each Sunday. And once I reached around 24 pages, I realized I can actually uh, print this out and have this as my third short story comic book. And that whole process actually made me realize that I can actually create a comic, comic book without it doing thumbnails. And so when I, I started to create Little Wolf, which is my first big book project, I already knew that I had the capability <laughs> to just do away with the thumbnails and go straight to doing the underdrawings. And how I, I was able to manage it because it, it was a big book that was going to be illustrated using colored pencils, and pencils are very straightforward. But this time around, I'm going to use gouache paint, so I'm going back to wet media. Now, Dragon Song was using gouache paint, but the difference is. Dragon Song was drawn in a in a different format. <laughs> it was uh, inspired by medieval illuminated manuscripts, so half the spread is mostly calligraphy, and the the panels are very minimal, and they're not really sequential art. And so this time around, is I'm I'm going back to. To what I'm used to doing, which is comic book format, uh, which is sequential art, and um, very much like Little Wolf, except I'm going to be using water-based media. And this book is actually going to be just as big, if not bigger, meaning more pages than than Little Wolf. So I figured I should really reintroduce creating thumbnail sketches again. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I get to that stage, I have to finish this color study first. So right now in this video, I'm actually um, creating pencils for my color studies. That's why you see me draw sceneries twice, because I plan to apply a different set of color palette in each and just compare them and see 
which one I'll, I'll be using and which one feels right for the story. Because off the top of my head, I can't really decide or plan or even have any preferences. I, I have to see the colors <laughs> in front of me and the illustrations. So to be able to decide. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll just finish the set of pencils first. And then once I'm ready with the paint, I'll come back and do that video. And then we'll see. We'll see which colors I'll end up with. Until then, have a great night and I'll talk to you soon.